So not only did I finally get the best action IDW turtles, I got the battle ready limited edition edition. So let's open them up. They look dope. Bigger than I thought they were going to be. But I guess they're still going with their five inch thing. Uh, do Mikey first. The background. They're in a more triangular packaging now as opposed to the regular ones. Cool background. I like it limited edition card that looks dope a little bit about mikey on the back but i can't see that well so you'll have to buy it to read it link in the description neighbors are home all right here we go black nunchucks that's cool lots of different hands different head fell on the ground he is big he's dark this edition have some extra paint details and darker um, shells. Oh, that's almost black. Nunchucks go in the back. Extra hands. Oh, so the nunchucks are beige, but these, like, they're black, but they don't fit in the back. Those barely fit if you want to put them like that. Huh? You can get them in. The silver plastic for the rope. I guess it's not a rope, it's a wire if it's silver, maybe. But they move. So I like this face that he has on with the mouth wide open. Head's a little small. They're small in the comics, but a little better scaled than these guys, but still looks awesome. So two extra sets of hands, extra weapons, extra bandana backs. Oh, I guess this he has none on right now. One for each head. The color doesn't match the rest of the mask. Does this one match this one? No. So that's weird. Maybe they matched the mask on the non-battle-ready um, version and they didn't change the color on this one. And this alternate head, it's a winking head, and the alternate heads have the irises. So he's got green eyes. But I like the head he has on better. I don't really like that winking head. Raph now, finally. Raph's a lot bigger. He's huge. Raphael, that's dope. But again, their head is better proportioned. Raph's head is bigger. Let's get a better look. He is huge. Maybe a little too big. So square. Thought they were all going to be the same sculpt, but uh, they're all different. I have Leo and Donnie, but I don't have enough time or space to open them all up right now. They'll be coming soon. I thought about getting the regular ones and then customizing and adding detail, but I had the opportunity to get the battle ready ones at the same price, but why not get these ones? I could still customize these ones. Well, that's dope. Huge wraps match. Raf also came with some Tomfas. Is there a nice sigh? So that's kind of like grasping at something hand, or I guess he can hold like this, maybe in that hand? No, not really. That's just like, I don't know, weird. This one, this one's to go like this, hopefully. Well, probably need to be warmed up a bit, or, but it should. Maybe I can get it in for some pictures to play at the end, but I think that's to hold it like that. But the thumb should go under. All right, that's too much of that. His bandana backs, they match better with his uh, head. But I guess because he's Michelangelo sweating a lot, so the part that's on his face is worn out and his are short. Turn him around so you can see what I'm talking about. Raph's ready and he's got some spots on his back for his size. He came with the, they both came with ninja stars or no, or maybe just him. Because I have three, I think they'd come with two each. Maybe one fell. Can look at the box, I guess, after. Hands are tight, but all right, good enough. I have the comic book here. So his other head. Oh, more, I don't know, kind of a serious face. Kind of like he just smelled something that smelled bad, but he's got his eyes or irises and they're like yellow and red. I like the white eyed uh, heads better that they came with. Raph's head is bigger. I guess his head kind of matches his body, but should he be that much skinnier? I think Raph's just a little too big. So we have the comic book here, and they're all pretty much the same size. Maybe they're based, these are probably based off older comics. 
because this is uh, just maybe three months old. But these toys came out probably six months ago or they were designed probably two years ago. I have, oh, so even just opening two, there's so much extra stuff. This is a RAF, IDW RAF that I made, but I made them out of the 2012 figures, so they're a lot smaller. That's Michelangelo. So the color is pretty close. I think the actual Michelangelo is maybe in between mine and theirs. RAF, mine and theirs are pretty close, but I also have some other IDW. Well, I have the regular 2012 figure, Michelangelo, and I have the Best Action, their first Michelangelo from the 87 series. They're, they're the same height, five inches, five inches, but this guy's shell is broken. And Raph, they made him a little taller. He used to have a ruler over here. This guy's not gonna stand up. So yeah, these guys are super dope. Weapons are nice, accessories are good. The bandana back, hmm, doesn't wanna stay in. So yeah, these guys are awesome. I have this um, old hob that I made. He scales good with them. Probably half the IDW I made could scale with these guys. Half scale better with the ones that I made. Turtles always wanna fall backwards because of their heavy shells. Is a common problem, but yeah, old hob, that scales good. I have Bebop and Rocksteady I made big, so they'll probably scale fine with these guys, but they scale better because they're a lot bigger than these guys. When I open up uh, Donnie and Leo, I'll show some more. And um, first, we have some more Sewer Slash and Turtles coming up soon. And until then, remember, always keep your head up. Peace.